Hello, welcome everybody to another Facebook Friday. Woohoo, right? It's Frilici Friday. Yes, how is everybody doing? Oh my gosh, what a week, right? So the new annual catalog is up and live and does everybody have their copy? And I can actually show you the inside of the catalog now too. So I'm gonna jump right into things. I hope, like I said, I hope you guys are all like doing really, really well. Hello, Miss Monica, welcome. Thank you for joining us. So yeah, we are gonna be playing with my favorite, oh my goodness, this, this um, suite of products is like, all over my craft room. I have made so many projects with it already, um, including my class to go, my, my first class to go with new product. Hello, Miss Judy. Hello, Miss Philomena. So, hey ladies, this is the suite that I'm talking about, the Pansy Petals suite. So here are some of the gorgeous products, projects, I guess I should say, right? And then over here on this page are the gorgeous products that you use to make the projects, right? So we have the, thank you, Philomena, for the share already too. Awesome, you are on top of things. Ah, uh, yes, hello, Judy. Love having you guys um, hanging out with me. So yeah, we have the Pansy Patch Stamp Set, which is just a beautiful, you can kind of layer um, the images on there to kind of create lots of like texture and dimension in your stamping. There is um, a set of dies, the Pansy, they're basically the pansy dies that will coordinate. They die cut. And you guys know this, right? If you are looking um, in the catalog, hello, Sharon, and you see something um, kind of grayed out, for example, basically it means that there are dies or a punch that will die cut or punch those things. And in very teeny tiny print right down here. It tells you that it coordinates with the pansy dies and then it gives you the page number. I don't think I can even get close enough. If you guys can squint and see that, maybe. Yeah, so anyway, that's something to kind of know in the catalog. Um, like I said, if it's ever, it's kind of highlighted or grayed, kind of, this is actually maybe kind of vanilla, like a, yeah, like an off-white color kind of highlighted around behind it. That means there's something that will die cut or punch um, out those images. So yeah, it's good to know that too. And then they do re refer you to the page number so you can see, for example, the pansy dies, you can see those um, up close a little bit bigger. So, but I don't know, you guys, like seriously, this sweet, like look at, like look at how stinking cute that stuff is. I love, I think it's the paper too, and then you add on um, all the pansy images. So the cool thing is the designer series paper, the pansy dies um, will actually die cut some of the pansies in the designer series paper, also the leaves in the designer series paper. Um, so not only does it die cut the images from the stamp set, but it'll also actually, they show you right here is a perfect example. I'm like flipping all over the place. But this right here, you can see there is, um, the designer series paper and you can see they've cut out some of the leaves and then they show the dye that perfectly cuts out that pansy there too. So this is just, oh my gosh, this was something that we could pre-order as demonstrators. So we were pretty limited. Um, so I know you see tons and tons of ideas with this bundle. And like I said, I've had so much fun playing with it. I can't wait to show you everything that we are gonna do with this, including the projects that we will demonstrate. Um, in just a little while on Facebook Live. So, yeah, so I um, I meant to like, I had all the, I actually was like ready early today and that is my problem. When I'm ready early, then I like flit off and like take care of other stuff and then I didn't have a chance to like review my notes to make sure I have everything and that my brain is like on track. So I'm, <laughs> I'm already like, oh, I don't know, is my brain off track? But uh, yes, Philomena, the, the designer series paper is beautiful. It's. And it's so cute too, like with all the gingham um, kind of um, pattern on the backside of some of it too. So beautiful like floral pansy paper and then cute gingham and some stripes and lots of fun um, with that designer series paper too. I think I'm on my third pack of paper by now. <laughs> yeah, I've ordered a lot of that paper. So, okay, yeah, oh, <clears throat> well, let me back up. And actually this, this shirt kind of like coordinates with like, everything I'm seeing on my table here too. This is a brighter version of pale papaya, I would say. But I don't know if you guys can see it. So it says hope with the anchor on it. So my son, Cade, I'm super excited. He has definitely decided he's gonna go to Hope College this fall. So it's over in Holland on the west side of the state. 
We actually last Saturday went to what they called like a new admitted student day. Um, so basically like we met with a bunch of different people. They gave us lots of information. And then probably our most favorite part was we got to do a tour with um, one of the current students um, of Hope College and it turned out to be super tall guy like oh my gosh he, his head was like dusting the ceiling it felt like anyway so um he was a basketball player he's graduating actually um this weekend i think graduation is at hope college um so yeah we got to talk to him about um being on the basketball team and kind of what life is like you know trying to manage right um because it's a pretty big time commitment between all of like the training and practices and then um even traveling for away games um, but he gave Cade lots of reassurance that you know basically he's like if i can do it anybody can do it kind of thing so he was a pretty funny guy um so we just had a great time because that's Kate's hope is um, that he'll be able to continue to play basketball at Hope College um, this fall as well. So you guys are not done hearing about basketball from me. I hopefully not for another four years. We'll see how things go. Like pray that he can make the team and that um, things go well and no injuries and that kind of stuff. So, but beyond that, he's excited. He's going to go into the engineering program. I think I'm like so scared for him because I think that's one of the toughest programs um, to go through when you're in college. So I'm like, say prayers for him also that um, he can do this. I think he has no idea what he's getting himself into in terms of, um, you know, all the hard work that is ahead of him, but he's, he is a hard worker. So um, just really excited and excited to be over in high Holland in the west side of the state because um, I haven't spent too much time over there so um, you know I'm already like jokingly telling him that I want to come visit and like hey Kate can I stay in your dorm room with you <laughs> and he's so practical he's like well you can mom but they say they're really small those rooms are really small so there's not going to be a lot of room so I thought that was pretty funny because I think most boys like 18 19 year old boys would be like oh my gosh mom no way are you staying in the dorm with me but he was more worried about having enough space I'm like I will not be spending the night in the dorm room with you Kate but anyway it was just kind of cute that he thought maybe maybe I could do that as long as there was room so yeah but very very excited um, we had just uh, had a great day and actually the other fun thing was they do a tulip festival which I've heard about for many years and never had um, been able to go over and see and so actually last Saturday was the first day of the tulip festival so Holland like downtown Holland was pretty crazy um, lots of people lots of stuff going on um, and then the tulips are in bloom so it was beautiful too so very, very excited about that. And so I got my first, we had to go to the bookstore. That was like the first thing on the list before we even went and started our day, um, you know, the official day. I was like, we got to get to the bookstore and do some shopping. So we all got some hope gear. So that's fun, fun for all of us. So, um, okay, let's see. So yeah, we talked about the new annual catalog. Hopefully, if you guys need a copy, let me know. I have um, them. I'm happy to put them out on the porch for you or mail one to you. So just let me know if you don't have one of our new annual catalogs yet, right? It's beautiful too, the front of this. Um, is a beautiful suite of products. I have yet to actually got my hands on it, but it is gorgeous and I'm sure we, you will be seeing that at some point. That designer series paper especially is uh, just beautiful there. So, okay, um, but let's see, what do we wanna talk about now? Let's talk about In Color Club, right? Okay, so I have to show you guys, I made these cute little bookmarks. Um, this is my little club member treat and I'm kind of, I've made a bunch of extra, so I'm giving them out to anybody that I run into. But it, it features, obviously we've got some of the ribbon. This is the Fresh Freesia. Um, and then, so here is Pale Papaya, Fresh Freesia, Polished Pink, Soft Succulent, and Evening Evergreen with a little bit of um, last year's brown. Why am I cinnamon cider? Is that right? Oh my gosh, I'm totally like blanking on last year's color. Anyway, but a cute little um, huge ice cream cone, right? So just a fun little bookmark right there that features all of our in colors. So with that being said, if anybody's interested in getting all of these colors and all of the products in all of these colors, they are cute, aren't they, Sharon? And I um, found this online too. I, I'm so bad. I forget to like jot down um, who um, I saw this, but this is not my idea. And so I will not be taking credit for it. Um, but I found it online and I just thought it was so cute. So I had to recreate it for everybody that I know as well. So 
Okay, yeah, In Color Club. If you love all those In Colors, you might be interested, right? Here's another version of all of our In Colors, right? Um, so In Color Club, oops, I'm getting a text. Hold on, Meyer, prescriptions are ready. Okay, we'll be there in a little while to pick those up. Uh, Nikki, hello, hello, welcome. Thank you for hanging out with me today. So, okay, so In Color Club, if you are interested, for example, one month, the first month, maybe you would get uh, polished pink, um, as your product. So you would get, and I have to look at my notes to make sure, you get a full pack of cardstock, you get the ink pad, you get the ink refill, you get the ribbon, um, you get the marker, you get the stamp and blends, and you get the designer series paper in polished pink. So each month then, next the next month, maybe you'd get evening evergreen, the next month soft succulent, everything in all of these colors, then the next month fresh freesia, and then maybe the last month you're going to get pale papaya, which you can see yeah, my shirt's much brighter than pale papaya, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, so you also get to be the host one month, and I let you know in advance so you can do your shopping. So you get $20 in free product, whatever you want. You can get um, the host stamp set or designer series paper that is new in our in our new annual catalog or you can get anything that you want whatever you want right so you pay 48 dollars per month for each of those five months and then like i said one month you get 20 dollars in free stuff plus you also get and i can show you these the little in color jewels um, as a thank you for being a part of the um, in color club so if anybody's interested the link to sign up or you can just um post a comment right here email me however you want to get a hold of me let me know that you want to participate in the in color club and i will get you set up um because I'm putting orders in all throughout the month, um, especially as, you know, because people are like just kind of coming on like, hey, yeah, I want to do that. So um, I can accommodate new people anytime. So I'd love to have you participate in that. So again, for five months. So first month starts, we've got May, June, July, August, and September. So by September, you'll have all five of the in colors in all of those products too. So awesome, awesome, awesome deal. Okay, so that's in color club. Uh, designer series paper share and I can actually show you now did I write down I tried to write down the page number I think I did yeah so page 130 I think is where we're gonna find our designer series paper let me make sure yeah okay so I just am like loving that I can open up this catalog and show you guys everything so this was I this was what I used to kind of um, <clears throat> feature all the new designer series paper when I was marketing with it and I do I've posted to my blog I have emailed about it and I've been posting on our Facebook group too so hopefully you guys have gotten info um, again the link to sign up for the designer series paper share is above this Facebook live video or it will be after I get it edited this afternoon so but here for example this is one of the um, packages of designer series paper so I think we have 10 different ones so you'd get a quarter of a pack of this paper and then a quarter of a pack of all three of those packages of designer series paper so that's we got four right there we got another six more here right so we've got those three right there and then over on this side we've got another three so you can see beautiful beautiful paper most of it is 12 by 12 so you'd get a 6 by 12 piece um, the one package is 6 by 6 so you're gonna get 6 by 6 paper of that and then you're also gonna get the peach paper on this page too um, and then I throw in um, oh yeah I didn't write it on here but you will get a sample of the new in color designer series paper as a little freebie thank you for signing up for the um, designer series paper share so again i will have the link to that above this video it's also been emailed posted to our facebook group and it's on my blog um, all those ways you can get to the link to sign up for the designer series paper share and that'll be going on all month long each time i get a group of four then i put an order in get it um to me and shipped right out to you or porch pickup if you're local okay so love to have you get get you signed up for the designer series paper share as well okay I have to check my notes I'm feeling like super like discombobulated today um yeah it's just you know I guess that's kind of how I roll the <laughs> most days so okay um we are gonna do our drawing now right for 
me scoot this back out of the way, for, what are we drawing for? The purple tricolor ribbon, this most beautiful, fun, just bright, bold ribbon that is now retired. You cannot get this ribbon. The only way you can get that ribbon is right here, right now. If you, uh, what, what do you have to do? You have to sign up for my email list or if you shared the Facebook Live video, your name is in my little basket right here. So we're gonna toss the names around. Let me make sure. I feel like a few of them, I always have to like separate them because I make sure everybody has a fair shot in there. So, okay. All right, one lucky winner of the purple tricolor ribbon. And it goes to, oops, I got like two or three in my hand still. Okay, we got one left right here, Miss Mary Ann McGinnis. All right, congratulations, Mary Ann. You are the winner of the purple tricolor ribbon and I will get that sent out to you. So yes, congratulations. All right, uh, you know what I just realized? I, okay, one moment, I need to, um, let's see, sorry, in my, I have to, <laughs> this is so, this is crazy. Okay, so I forgot to put names on um, my little pieces of paper for, the other drawing. And so I'm doing that right now because I only had a couple of online orders and I remember everybody's names that ordered. So that is easy. So, okay, sorry, that was like a little quick moment there. Okay, I'm good. All is good, all is good. So on our next Facebook Live, I will be giving away the elegant faceted gems. So these were beautiful gems that were part of our annual catalog last year and then they carried over and I love these gems so much. So beautiful. So we've got, they're kind of a white. This might be um, petal pink and then kind of a clear. If I get really close, I don't know, can you guys see them? Maybe see them a little bit better that way. That looks better there, I think. So I love, you guys know me, I love bling, I love gems. I put all of these things on pretty much every project that I make too. So share the Facebook Live video, sign up for my email list if you haven't done that already. And the link to do that is also gonna be above this Facebook Live video um, once I get it uploaded too after we are done today. So do that, sign up for my email list, share the video, your name will be going, going in the drawing to win those elegant faceted gems on our next Facebook Live. And <clears throat> speaking of, our next Facebook Live, we are going to Maui, you guys. So one week from tomorrow, it is finally here. I feel like, well, we've been waiting years for it, honestly. <laughs> I know that sounds like a little overdramatic, but yeah, because we were supposed to go last July. And then obviously with everything with the pandemic, that did not happen. So it got postponed to next week, next Saturday, we leave to go to Maui. So, um, I'm going to be, I'm not going to be able to do a Facebook Live next Friday or the week after. So the very last Friday of May, which I meant to get that date and I have no idea what it is. Um, but yes, that will be our next Facebook Live. So in three Fridays from today, the last Friday of the month. So the next two Fridays, I'll be off um, getting down to the airport and then being in Maui. And um, hopefully I'll be posting um, some the fun that we're having in Maui too while we are away. But I'm just so looking forward to this trip, hanging out with my kids and just relaxing and getting away. Michigan is dreary right now, you guys. I think we had better weather back at the beginning of April than we are having at the beginning of May. So we are ready to get the heck out of here and go enjoy ourselves. Um, yes, let's see what's Tammy saying. It's the end of her son's senior year and many things you have to get done. I hear you, Tammy. I hear you. Kate is a senior as well. So yeah, there's a lot going on, although not as much as usual, I don't think either. Um, yeah, actually we have, Kate has kind of like a mini prom. It's just for seniors um, tomorrow night and he was not even going to go. And then like, what last weekend he's like yeah mom I talked to my friend Brandon and so he wanted to go and some other friends so they're <laughs> they're all gonna go um, after all I guess so we scrambled to find um, something he didn't want to rent to talk so we had to find something else appropriate for him to wear so yes oh Nikki thank you I was like 28th what is she talking about her um, comment there <laughs> hello hello Susan good morning um, so Nikki is trying to tell me that the next Facebook live is on um, yeah, it's going to be on Friday the 28th. Holy mackerel, that'll be the end of the month, which it will be because we're gone for like 10, 11 days. 
Yeah, so, oh my gosh, very, very, very exciting. So yeah, we'll be back live on the 28th um, of May. Yeah, but that seems like a really long time from now. Anyway, we're just gonna have lots of fun today um, to tide us over for a while, right? So I need a quick sip of water. Give me one moment hmm. while I do that. Okay, um, let's see. Let's talk about, do you guys know this? that there is a new starter kit deal. I think I mentioned it last week, right, in preparation for the new annual catalog. But yeah, oh my goodness. So if you are like loving, right, if you just don't even know what you're gonna do with the, your huge list, your huge want list of things from the annual catalog, get the starter kit, ladies. Oh my goodness. You get to pick $155 in stuff, anything you want out of this catalog, right? You pay only $99 plus sales tax, that 10%, the annoying, right? I'm sorry it is, because I, I hate paying for shipping, but anyway, it's just the way it is. Um, yeah, the annoying 10% shipping fee is waived on the starter kit order. So in Michigan, with our 6% sales tax, you pay $104.94, and I did the math, ladies. If you put in a $155 order and paid for tax and shipping, you are getting like $75 free basically by getting the starter kit right because you pick 155 dollars you don't have to pay for your shipping um you just pay sales tax and and you actually only pay 99 dollars instead of 155 plus then you get 20 percent off of all of your orders after that so there's like this is like a total no-brainer now is the time to get that starter kit again the link for getting that starter kit will be above this Facebook Live video after I get it uploaded. There's also always a link on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com, or I'm happy to help you put your starter kit order in. You can email me everything that you want, um, and we can. I'm happy to get you set up with that also. So know whatever is easiest for you. Some people like to go online and do it right themselves, and other people want me to help them out, and I'm good with whatever you want me to do in terms of helping you out. So plus, then you be, become an inspired stamper, and then you get to be a part of our awesome team, my awesome group of um, stamping members, stamping friends, stamping family um, that's a part of our Inspired Stampers group. And there's more info on my blog also about all the great benefits of becoming a part of my team on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com. Okay? So I'd love to have you get signed up for that awesome deal, right? And then use your 20% discount to get everything else that you want out of this catalog. Because we all know, and especially as we see more fun projects posted online just so many great things in here um that you're gonna be <laughs> that you're gonna be wanting oh that's so funny sure it says a hope college bus just drove by <laughs> they're looking for kate yeah they're like hey buddy come on down <laughs> that's my they must be there must be something going on maybe hope um what do you say a bus i wonder you know maybe baseball softball golf something's probably going on still so that's cute coming up here yeah so that's actually the really cool thing now that you're saying that sharon so like i said we're hoping that he's going to be playing basketball um and i was already like oh my gosh so kate when hope plays alma because they do hope and alma are in the same like conference or division um so when they get to play Alma College here that'll be like a home game essentially just go like around the corner to go watch him play basketball so that'll be very very cool otherwise it's a couple hours down to hope um, to watch but I'll be making that trip as many times as I can um, so yeah as, yeah just really looking forward to that so <laughs> that's cute though they're looking for Cade huh Sharon <laughs> that is awesome all right so let's see Okay, I think we're getting through things. So yeah, I feel like I'm doing a pretty good job here on like getting through what all I wanted to tell you guys about. Okay, so you know, like I said, we're gonna be out in Maui for a while. So I'm gonna do something, I'm calling it the Maui Special, all right? So here's the deal, ladies, right? If you put an online order in using the host code that I'll give you just a little bit, it's also always in the details above this Facebook Live video and on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com, okay? Um, use that host code, shop online, get some of that fun stuff. If you don't wanna get the starter kit, if you're not quite ready for that, you can just put an online order in and use the host code and you're gonna get all kinds of goodies from me for ordering anytime between now and I guess it would be Wednesday the 26th. Thank you for that, Miss Nikki. Now I know. Anytime between now and midnight, 
on Wednesday, May 26th. Your name is going to go in the drawing to win. And I have it on order, so i got to show you in the catalog because it's not here quite yet. Um, it's on page is that 38, I think it says. Let me make sure. Yes, so it's this Sunny Sentiments stamp set. So it's funny because it's like, okay, it's just words, right? But I loved these sentiments. Plus, it's the Sunny Sentiments stamp set, right? So think of like Sunny Maui, Sunny Sentiments. So I'm going to read these to you. I have to flip it around here so I can actually see them. We've got, thank you for all the little things you do and for your big heart. That's sweet, huh? I know we've been out of touch, but I think about you more often than you know. A happy hello to you. Hoping your birthday is filled with all the best things. And last one is, thought you could use some sunny thoughts today. So all right, let me show you guys one more time. So that's the stamp set. Your name will go in the drawing to win this one right here, the sunny thoughts stamp set. And I think this is great. I struggle with like writing on the inside of the card sometimes like oh I just don't know quite what to say so these sentiments for me are like the perfect lead-in to what I want to say in a card and then I can kind of branch off from what these things it's kind of like a jumping off point for me so I love the sentiments in this stamp set right so this is your name will go in the drawing to win that the sunny sentiment stamp set I'm going to keep that open so I can show you guys that again a little bit later. You are also gonna get 10 free cards for me. I have a whole stash. So for years, right, I've been stashing cards. So basically, I wanna get these cards into your hands. So you're gonna get 10 free cards. It will include the two cards that I'm gonna demonstrate in just a little while, right? And then you'll get eight other like random, I'll pick these fun cards for you. So 10 free cards, your name in the drawing, and you also get to pick from either the free embellishment, which this month is the In Color Jewels, as long as they don't sell out. I've ordered a bunch of them. So for the first number of orders, I will definitely have the In Color Gems. If something happens and I'm not able to get these, then I will substitute with another um, free embellishment, right? So you can pick from the free embellishment or the May demo design dream team pdf tutorial and i have to show you guys because this was one of the projects that i was talking about referring to this was the project that i um prepared and put into the may demo design dream team pdf tutorial so if you are interested 50 dollars order gets you this um, pdf tutorial as well and then the details on exactly how i made this card right here so that's another option for you right okay so again in summary 50 dollars order you pick from the pdf PDF tutorial or a free embellishment, you get 10 free cards and your name goes in the drawing to win the Sunny Sentiments stamp set, okay? So that's the Maui special, ladies. That's going to be going on from now until Wednesday, May 26th at midnight, okay? So awesome, awesome, awesome deal for you guys, right? So in the meantime, anybody that put an online order in last week through this past Wednesday at midnight, they automatically receive both of these projects that I demonstrated on Facebook Live last week, these awesome masculine cards, which we can always use, right? If they bumped their order up to $50, they got to pick from either the free embellishment or the PDF tutorial. And their name is in the drawing right now to win this in color cardstock pack, right? It's the 2021, 2023 in color cardstock pack. Okay, so I'm gonna shake these around. Yep, we got those couple in here. All right, and the winner of the card stock pack is Miss Monica Talbot. Congratulations, Monica. Sorry, I have to like, I had to scribble on top of somebody else's, but this is Monica. Um, I think maybe you're still on here, Monica. So congratulations. And Susan, thank you for sharing the video. I appreciate that. All right, so Monica, I will get that paper sent out to you. Congratulations, and thank you for your orders. I truly appreciate, truly, truly appreciate your online orders. Yeah, so especially because, like, I'm, I was already, like, thinking, when you go away for, like, 10 days, like, your business can kind of stop for those 10 days. So um, that's the time when I, like, super, like, count on those online orders. So I appreciate in advance anyone that's able to put an online order in. I say thank you right now in advance for those orders because that kind of helps me trucking along toward my goal of earning the next incentive trip as well, too. So, okay. All right, let's see. I feel like we have gotten through 
everything because I have a bunch I want to show you guys too. I have like a ton of stuff to show you. So we are going to flip the camera down now. Yes, 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 yes. I'm ready to do that. Yeah. Okay. Here, actually, let's grab this right now. Okay. So turn your heads away, right? We're going to fly through the air, flip the camera down, and I will have some more good stuff to show you guys. Okay. All right, I think that looks all right. It almost looked like it was kind of low there, but I think we're okay. Okay, so this is the host code that you're gonna to wanna to use when you order online to get those 10 free cards and your free embellishment or PDF tutorial. Ah, yes, Monica, you are in here. <laughs> yes, you're gonna get some of the new in color card stock. Yeah, before like the in color club, yes, because that order is in. Um, and I so I was able to put it in on Tuesday along with everyone else under the sun. So um, I know that those orders are gonna take a little while to get out to us. Um, but as soon as they get here, then we'll I'll be shipping out the first round of in color club to everybody too. So, okay, let me see, where are my notes? Because I still have so many things I want to show you guys. Okay, so let's start with, I just want to show you real quick scrapbook pages from this past month. So I'm going to show you just like one page at a time, kind of, right? So these are with the Hydrangea Hill Designer Series paper and the Hydrangea suite of products, right? So can you guys see all that, right? Here's the other. I'll show you kind of both of them there too. And these are... Um, going to be on my blog. I can't, I don't think I've posted them on my blog yet, but I did include pictures um, in the Facebook group. So if you guys don't know this too, that's a good thing for me to kind of think of and tell you guys about right now. So each month at the end of the month, I any project that I have made, I upload to this Facebook group right here where you're watching right now, the Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio Facebook group. I have a bunch of um, photo albums. So if you click on photos or media, I think is what you have to go to now, then click on photos, then click on albums. You'll find one, for example, that is a scrapbook page album. And basically it's got pictures of pages for years and years back. So they're great for if you want a specific idea with the Hydrangea suite of products, you've got these two pages that you could make or they're great just for layout. So for example, this is a layout that I maybe used a couple of years ago and liked it and then just converted it to what I'm working with right now in terms of products. So anyway, lots of great ideas on there for cards, um, for 3D projects, like gifty kind of items, and then for scrapbook pages. So check those out if you're ever in need of kind of good scrapbook page layouts, card layouts, um, cute treat ideas, lots and lots of good stuff on there. So, okay. So yeah, but these these were the scrapbook pages. Those were two of them. So at, at scrapbook class, we always make a two page spread right here, for example, this one, and then a single page spread that will coordinate with the next month's um, single page spread. So for example, here are these two. So I think we made this page two months ago, and then we made this one just back in April, right? Because we're in May now. <laughs> yeah, so scrapbook class is always at the end of the month, the last Tuesday of the month. So right after we get back from Maui, then we'll be having scrapbook class. But I love, right, this um, suite of products as well, the little ice cream corner suite. Uh, love, 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 love. Yes, yeah, so the paper, the ribbon, that fun little stamp set there too. And then you can even um, just use the punch with the designer series paper. So fun, fun, fun stuff there. Love scrapbook pages. Okay. What else do I want to show you guys? Oh, okay, okay. So I participated in a swap. Um, what was it? The, I think it was the Stampin' Up! The Trip Achievers swap. Yeah, that's the one. So it was with um, any new catalog product that we could pre-order. So you're not going to see a huge variety of stuff in these, but so many great ideas came out of these swaps. So this is my first and I love, now I think I made notes on here. So this is on, yeah, let's do that. Okay. I'm going to keep, put that thing right there so I can show you guys this one. What did I say? It was on page 98. I'll show you the stamp sets real quick too. Yeah. So here we go. This is the color and contour stamp set. And then, oh yeah, the awesome color and contour 
uh, or the scalloped contour dies they are. If you can see, I'll kind of try to, hmm, am I gonna be able to get that up in there? Yeah, you can kind of see the dies. So they have, um, here, I'll show you. This is a good example right here. So this is one of the dies right here. So it does the scallop edge. And then can you see that stitching along there too? And then this is the stamp from the stamp set. So that stamp is right on there. And then you can just, ooh, like watercolor wash, stamp it right in there too. So isn't that beautiful? And this one was from Susie Wood. Love that one, right? And then similarly, this stamp is also the thank you for everything is, where is it? Oh, right here. <laughs> I'm like, where did it go? Yeah, it's also part of the color and contour bundle she also used can i don't know you guys maybe can't see but this is some of like the shimmery vellum the new in color uh shimmery vellum we could pre-order that too and i love that one along with so this is fresh freesia right and then she used the fresh freesia the new um in color ribbon and then this is some of the pansy designer series paper so isn't that beautiful this one is marcia gay made that card Okay, next, I loved this one too, You're Too Kind. And let's see, we're gonna go to page 110. I had to like write the little page numbers on them so you guys could kind of see. Okay, so this is part of the Quiet Meadow bundle. So can you guys see, right? So there's that stamp right there with the kind of water splotches I love. I use those all the time too. And there's the You're Too Kind. So this is another bundle that also features the meadow dies and there are a bunch of let's see if we can she didn't actually use the dies on there yep okay let me see if i can kind of get in there you guys can kind of get the idea right but actually there's a little butterfly right there and she did use the butterfly that butterfly is from those quiet or the meadow dies basically and this was a card made by angie leach Aren't these, these, these swaps are always beautiful. I love participating in this swap because of that because I always get so many great ideas. This one is from Laura Barto, and we're going to go to page 105 in our catalog. Take a little peek here. So this one, oh yes, this is a beautiful suite also. This paper, this designer series paper right here is gorgeous. This is the hand-penned designer series paper. You can see, and it's, it's fun too because some of the patterns are the same, um, in the paper, but they're just different colors, and it's amazing how different they look, too. It is beautiful, beautiful suite of products. So here she used the hand-penned petals stamp set, so this stamp set right here, and then kind of using some of these things, she colored in these images also. And then with that pretty thanks right there, isn't that beautiful? I love this color combo, too, with the Night of Navy and the um, the pale which one is that? That's, oh, Blushing Bride. I was going to say the petal pink. But yeah, okay. So yeah, Blushing Bride. I'm glad I checked that. And you guys know that, right, too? So they've got the little, the names of the colors that coordinate with this suite right there as well. So it's very, very handy um, to be able to design cards with also. So another beautiful card right there. Next we have, this one is from Judy Garza. We're going to flip to page 69. Let's see, here we go. Okay, so this one is the Simply Elegant Suite. This was another one that we could pre-order. So you've got this beautiful stamp set with that really cool punch. You kind of can see um, that uh, image right there, right? If I, can you guys see that? Maybe I'll pop up. Right, there we go. Now you guys can kind of see that punch. And actually they are next to it. So you see the punch and then you see what it looks like punching out, right? And they show you how you can make just the top of it. You just slide your paper in just um, the back side and just punch the top of it. So you can do that just on the top instead of getting the full punch right on the bottom there too. And then this is some of the beautiful designer series paper, right? This paper right here, which is the Simply Elegant Designer Series paper. Wishing you a wonderful birthday. So just a simple, simple card, but you don't need a lot, right? With that beautiful paper, that is like the star of the show, I think, is that paper. Yeah, so they are also lovely, aren't they, Miss Philomena? And then here is another swap. This one is made by Rumi Rodomsky. 
I think is how you say her name. And so look at, oh, isn't that beautiful? So that's this stamp right here. And then those pretty um, flowers. And then there's that punch too. Isn't that beautiful? And I don't have that yet either. I wasn't, I didn't go crazy. I didn't want to buy everything because sometimes you're like, you're limited by what you can order in the pre-order. So I'm like, I got to make sure that I really like what I'm ordering. And then of course, then I see things like this. I'm like, oh, we totally need that punch there too, right? It happens to all of us ladies for sure. And then this true love stories last forever. Well, oh, that's a beautiful sentiment also. And then here's some of the new cord too. The, do they kind of, they show it right here too. Um, they call it the Simply Elegant Trim and it comes in gold and in silver. So you can see that's the gold right there. Yes, it is beautiful, Philomena. You are right. And then the Pansy Suite. Let's flip to page 29, my most favorite. <laughs> this was the one I knew as soon as I saw it. I'm like, oh, we definitely need all of these products. So how about this? Isn't this beautiful? So here's an example of the stamping that you can do, right? So she would have used this stamp and then this stamp. I'm going to say this one is in Highland Heather. This one is in maybe rich razzleberry and then this one is in the center right here maybe blackberry bliss and then that teeny tiny little yellow is probably that one right there and bumblebee so you can see how you layer this one this one then that one then that one on there and then same idea with some of these others too you could do this one layer that one on top that one and put that one in the middle for the little flower so beautiful right oh my gosh <laughs> they get better and better i know i agree i agree Philomena. And then we have, okay, let's see, go to page 11. This was another beautiful suite of products. Lots of people picked this one too. I have a number of swaps to show you. So this is the Beauty of the Earth suite. And we um, opened up this designer series paper at Bingo. And it is beautiful. It's funny because in the catalog, even that doesn't really do it justice. When we opened it up, we were all like, whoa, that is beautiful paper. And then again, it lists all of the colors that coordinate. Here's the stamp set, the Beauty of Friendship stamp set. So on this one, she used... Oh, she didn't. Okay, I'm like, wait, right? No, we don't have a heartfelt sympathy on here. That's okay. She could have used any of these. So she used, I'm not sure where that's from, right? I'm not missing it, am I? No, there's not. <laughs> yes, you're ordering those next, the trees. I know. Aren't those cool? So those are the dyes right here, the beautiful trees dyes. Oh my gosh. Yeah, those are awesome, aren't they? And then here's a little strip of the designer series paper right there too. So this one was by Laura Milligan down in Canton, Ohio. Laura is awesome. I love Laura. She's such a sweet, sweet lady. Okay, next one, friendship refreshes the soul. So there's your stamp right there, layering that tree on top of that one right there, and then some of that designer series paper. Yes, the colors. Yes, you're right. These deep, rich. This is like kind of a fall. And maybe that's why I was like, okay, I'm going to hold off on this one because it kind of feels like fall colors to me. Um, fall, winter maybe. And I was like, oh, I want like bright, fun, spring, summery colors right now. Um, but, you know, soon enough, we'll be back to winter again, especially around here. Right, ladies? Um, oh, let's see. That one was by Laura Borshirt. Borshirt? Borshirt? I'm going to say, yeah, beautiful one. So here's another super simple one um, with that cute little tree, right? Thinking of you. So that's that one. And she used that die right there too. So you can kind of see that die right on there. And this one is from Janice Waitman. I love just that sky. So she used, this is some of the designer series paper, right? We've got that one right there. It looks like maybe that one right there for the green and then for the sky, so right, for the grass and the sky there. Um, okay, next is this one right here. We're going to flip to, oh, what did I do? Where There was another. <laughs> that suite of products. Why can't I remember? I know this is some of the free. You guys know this, right? Um, I have to just point it out because I think it's pretty darn cool that Stampin' Up! did this. So host items. Ooh, let me tell you about that too, because I kind of, it's funny, I saw it and then I didn't see anything more about it. So I was like, is Stampin' Up! really doing that? But they are doing a special like host promotion in the month of May also. So if you put a $250 order in, or maybe you accumulate, get some friends together to all put your orders together, you get an extra $25 for free in host rewards with a $250 
product order this month. So for example, you could get any of these host items right here. So we've got the Prince and Princess, Better in Places and Natural Textures. Those are three stamp sets and they've never done this before, at least that I can remember, a pack of 12 by 12 designer series paper you can also get for free. And one of the patterns is this fun pattern right here. Yes, isn't that so cool? And I am totally drawing a blank on that bundle. I wonder, I didn't write a page number on it, so I'm like totally blanking out. Um, maybe it'll come to me or maybe somebody on here knows. Ooh, mm, okay, on page 52, let's see. Nikki, did I have that wrong? I was kind of wondering. Yes, you know what is funny? Because, so this is the one she's talking about right here. As I was looking at the teeny tiny picture, I'm like, I don't see where she could have gotten those trees. So this one is actually, she used the designer series paper from the other suite, but these trees, and here we go, with heartfelt sympathy right here. This is from the Inspired Thoughts stamp set. So, ooh, look at all those great sentiments in there too, right? So with heartfelt sympathy, and then there are, can you guys see? I'll zoom in a little bit on that one too, those three trees all together. Thank you, Nikki. <laughs> I appreciate that. You don't happen to know what page this one is on too, do you? Um, well, maybe it's the same. Can we look at something else? Where was the other one? <laughs> that thanks looks like it's the same. Let's go back to page 105. Is it part of, because it might be with the dyes also. Let's see. Yes, yes it is. Okay, good. So this thanks is also from the hand penned petal stamp set. And then these are the penned flower dies. That's what this one is. Thank you, good job, Nikki, we are on the same page. Yes, yeah, so in that, can you guys see if I scoot in? Do you see that detailed one kind of on the left-hand side? That is, so that little guy is that right there. Isn't that beautiful? Mm, so pretty, love that. And then this one, that is one of those new color and contour dies because it's got the little stitching around there too. Okay, um, let's see, what else? Now I got myself all off track. How about the party puffins? This one's cute too. <laughs> yes, Sharon, Nikki is a wealth of information. Yes, she is. She's like my encyclopedia when I need it um, here on live. When I lose my brain, it just happens. Okay, here we go. This cute little party puffin stamp set. So you can see there are some fun little a couple of um, ideas, well, with other stamp sets there too, but this one was another one we could pre-order. So super duper cute. That's why I had those in that order because this is also part of that free designer series paper that is that has that paper in it too. So that one and then that little stripey one are also, so isn't that cute? You're the best and the little party, the puffin is partying it up, kicking up his heels, right? Another cute one. And this one is from Rosemarie Gonzalez. Okay, let's see. We've got this one here, uh, Laura Lynn Streifert, um, page 127 and 104. Okay, because this is kind of part of the um, hand penned, right? Yeah, the hand penned. So this is actually really cool. I had to open this up because we, they, we have to send them all in these clear envelopes. And this is actually this piece right here. This is one of our memories and more cards. So this whole piece right here, not those flowers, but it's the little things. It almost looks like she may have stamped because I don't have this yet. So I'm not sure if that comes like that. But this is all just a card from the hand pen memories and more cards, right? And she actually used some of the In Good Taste designer series paper back there. And then one of our new flower punches with a pearl in the center. So really cute, simple card, but I love how quick and easy it is to make cards with those memories and more card packs. So if you go to page 127 in your catalog, we have the memories and more, the hand penned, and then the what a year memories and more card packs. So either one of those make really cute, simple, quick, easy cards as well. Okay. And then last one is another pansy card. And I'm going to show you guys how to make this kind of a pansy in just a few moments. Yes, beautiful, huh? And then with that Pansy Designer Series paper. So, so much good stuff there, ladies. Okay, all right, I think, just wanna do a quick reminder about my Pansy Petals class to go. I'm not gonna go into lots of details. I'm gonna just show you the cards real quick. You get to make two of each of these cards 
in the pansy petals class to go, right? That one, and then this one. This is my favorite. I love this gingham and that um, floral paper. Yes, you're right. Great job by all, Philomena, absolutely. So yeah, if you love these cards, if you're interested in making them, check out my blog also above this Facebook Live video after I get it uploaded. There's always lots of links. One of them will be to this class to go to get more information. RSVPs are due uh, two weeks from today on Friday, May 21st for the Pansy Petals class to go. You get a quarter pack of designer series paper. You get a yard of each of our new ribbons. You get the new um, in color embellishments. And then I tell you how to make all these cards. So it's an awesome, awesome class to go featuring my most favorite, right? The Pansy Bundle. Okay, so I think ladies, we are ready to do some stamping. Okay, here we go. Let me grab my grid paper. Man, craft or math has, <laughs> has hit big time on my table today. Okay, so let's see. Are we good? We are in view. Okay, sip of water. <laughs> okay, here we go. So here is my first card. And what's kind of fun, ladies, is so, for example, all of these cards that I got in my swap, I made... 16 of this card right here, sent it off to a gal named Sharon who coordinates these swaps. And then I, she sent back all of those cards to me. So that's the cool part about swapping. I would definitely encourage you to do that because you get great ideas without having to buy everything all at once. And then you can get it and see it and decide, ooh, I really love that designer series paper or that little puffin is so cute, right? So then you can decide what you want to order yourself. So love swapping. Um, so yeah, so let's, I'm going to show you guys how to make this card that was my swap. Again, featuring the Pansy Patch Stamp Set, because I can't stop talking and playing with this one, right? The Pansy Dies, and then I actually used this little guy right here is from the Hydrangea Dies. Okay, so let's get to making our card. I think I have everything here. So this one, Polished Pink Card Base, okay show you right here so here is our new in color polished pink right so along the eight and a half inch side we cut it at four and a quarters four and a quarter inches and then along the 11 inch side we scored it at five and a half so there's our fold on our card right okay next we have well lots of scraps i'll talk about those in a sec but we have this is some of the pansy designer series paper beautiful right love that and then there's that bold stripe on the back so designer series paper measures three inches by four inches and then this is a piece of the new evening emerald uh, in color three and one quarter by four and one quarter so that's just gonna layer right on top of there, okay? So then I have little scraps of, I have pale papaya, polished pink, evening evergreen, some white, and some bumblebee. So we're gonna do our stamping on one of these and we'll just have that and kind of ready to go with everything else. Oops, and actually got a little bit of the soft succulent there too. Okay, so we're gonna use our evening evergreen ink. And our cute little thank you. I love the font. You guys know, right? Love, love this font. Isn't that so, oh my gosh. I have a friend that used to, I, Michelle, she used to write like this in high school. Like she had the most beautiful, perfect handwriting. And that totally looks like Michelle's handwriting right there to me. Maybe she works for Stampin' Up! now and I don't know it. She's out in California, so I've kind of lost touch with her. <laughs> okay, so yeah, so maybe, maybe, she, maybe she drew that for them. Okay, so here we go. Now we have lots of die cutting to actually make our pansy, okay? I think I'm gonna have to run it. I know there's at least one piece that we have to do two times. So let's see, we'll get that on there. Oops, where is it? There it is. Okay, so these are the hydrangea dies. I don't have my little Lily. I have, she's been working so much. She hasn't been able to make my little mats for things. So things are falling all, all over the place. But that's the little label with the stitching around it from the hydrangea dies that are carrying over from our uh, January to June mini catalog. So very happy about that. We'll be able to continue to play with those lots. Okay, so yeah, let's see, we're gonna need so we need leaves. Let's do this one and maybe that little yellow one there too. Okay. 
So let's see, we can do this one on there, right? Our leaves, we are gonna do that one on there. You guys can see this, right? And then there's this one we're gonna do on there. So we're gonna have to do two sets of leaves, right? And then we need a little bit more of that. We need two of those also, okay? And then the little center we'll put on there. Okay, so that'll be good. We're gonna have to do one more round of die cutting here, but this is kind of the idea. So yeah, there are definitely some steps. Um, you get your daughter, Lily, or a friend to do all this die cutting. <laughs> I think that was one thing I realized. Um, like, okay, let me just show you what I mean, right? When you go to make 16 of this card and you have to do... Oh, I forgot the pink. We do need two of those little things there too. I should have done two of those. Yeah, so you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve 10, 11, 12 little pieces <laughs> to make that. So um, I maybe wouldn't suggest making many, many, many multiples unless you just love die cutting. Because <laughs> yeah, there's a bit of die cutting here. Okay, so here we go. Let's see. I'm gonna whack that over there. That'll work. We have that one. Okay, so we've got this. I'm just gonna scoot those right off. We'll whack those later. And then this one. Darn, I have to do one more of that pink. I meant I should have done two of those. And I didn't, so we'll have to do, where is that right here? Okay, we'll have to do another one of those real quick too. Okay, so we have that there. Let's get this one. This one might stick in here too, so we have to, there we go, fling that around a little bit. So if you just kind of whack it on your table, everything pops out pretty easily for you. <laughs> okay, we're gonna move that there because I need my white piece. I need to put that one on there with this white underneath it also. Okay, and then that one. All right, I think we're good. Okay, cranking things through. Here we go. So my son, um, Cade, is on the golf team, and today, actually, it, it was prettier earlier today than I thought it was going to be. Um, it looks like it is sprinkling a little bit, but I'm definitely like a fair weather fan when it comes to golfing. Like, I do not need to be out <laughs> on the course getting rained on, and this poor kid, they haven't had very good weather. They never do, guys. I don't know. April, May. <laughs> That's a hard time. Um, so yeah, he's out there with lots of rain gear and an umbrella and, you know, like I said, I'm that fair weather fan. So tomorrow is supposed to be better weather and he's got another tournament tomorrow. So I think I'll go watch tomorrow's tournament instead of, <laughs> well, I mean, I can't right now because I'm working, right? But um yeah, and then I have more work to do to get everything uploaded everywhere. So I won't be able to watch today, I don't think. Unless the weather clears up, then maybe I'll magically <laughs> be able to. We'll see. Okay, that is like dug right in there. All right, I'm just chit-chatting away. There we go. Bang. Okay. All right, ladies, I think we have done our die cutting. Oh, my gosh. Okay, now I'll show you. It's actually really... Um, pretty quick and simple and easy to put the pansy together. I've just kind of tossed everything over there. So hopefully I have everything I need. <laughs> we shall see. So this is what I'm over here doing. I'm like flicking this thing. Ooh. And it's still stuck. Oh, no, it's not. Okay, good. Like, where's the die? Okay, we're all good, ladies. We're all good. <laughs> Okay, let's get this one. I know I have everything. It's just a matter of whether I really do or not, right? Okay, this one. Where's that other? There's one more. Nope. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Now I feel like I'm missing another pink thing. All right. Hot mess. Amy's a hot mess. Here it is. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. We're all good. Okay. So here we go. Here we go. Here we go. So we are going to, so use your little rubber, your silicone mat. This is like your little saving grace here so that you don't get adhesive all over everywhere that you don't need it. Okay, I think we're just gonna shove all of that over there and we'll deal with that later. Okay, adhesive, right here we go. Okay, 
So we're just gonna put a little bit on the back of these pink things and a little bit on the back of these leaves right here, okay? And you don't need it everywhere. You just need it to enough to stick, right? So I'm just kind of flicking a little bit and we can always kind of rub once this, cause this, I've got some kind of adhesive like spanning across things there. We'll get that taken care of after we get it laid down on here. Okay, so this one goes on there like that, right? And if you just kind of rub, you can get any extra adhesive off of that. Okay, so there's that one. Oh, God darn it, I forgot the other. I don't know why I'm like blanking out about these pink. I'm gonna pop over here. So there's one more. It is this little guy right here. I need to do one more pink on here. So that little thing, sorry. Brain fart there. Let me just do it. You guys don't really care if you watch me, right? I'm gonna just run this really quick so we have it. Okay. And honestly, I feel like I'm making this um, look harder than it really is because it's really not very difficult. I just, um, so you guys, you know what part of the problem is? Because I designed this card like a few weeks ago, it's not as familiar for me now. So like um, usually these cards are like designed on like Wednesday or Thursday before we have Facebook Live on Friday. So I'm like, it's much more um, fresh in my mind what I'm doing. And this one I made so long ago. And then Lily did all the die cutting for me. Like it's not very fresh in my mind. So like I said, I feel like I'm making it look... Um, harder than it really is because it's really a pretty simple card. Okay, so we are gonna add these little leaves right here. I love this though, right? How um, we've got that soft succulent and then the evening evergreen over top. Isn't that so pretty? And then we'll do this one right here. There we go, there's that one there, right? Okay, I'm whispering now, I'm not sure why. And my dimensionals. Oh, forgot my dimensionals. One moment. I'll be right back. How did I do that? Okay. All right. Because I want to use my minis. I'm going to use the minis behind the sentiment here. And then honestly, I want a teeny, tiny, not even, it's probably smaller than a mini. Can you guys see that little itty bitty thing? And I'm gonna put it on this right there. There, it's like smaller than a mini, just to make that little bit pop up on the inside. I'm gonna put that right on there like that, okay? Then we are going to add a little bit of adhesive. That is running, isn't it? Yep, yeah. okay. So we are gonna lay this one, right about there, and then that one, right about there. Okay, there we go. All right, we've got our ribbon. Okay, so I think we are ready. We're gonna just scoot this aside a little bit. We are gonna add our designer series paper to our evening evergreen piece. Okay, and then we're gonna add this one to our card. Want a little bit more. There's something about me. I gotta get stuff in the corners. And then I roll off the edge and get it all over. There we go. <laughs> okay. Oh, I love this. There's just, it's so, it's like sweet pea. There, it's just so cute. I love that paper. And I love these new colors too, you guys. There's just something about all this that is so pretty. Okay, now I'm gonna just add a little bit of adhesive right there. And then we just need a little strip of our, this is called polished pink. Oops. Oh, maybe Lily's here. Yeah, because Kate's golfing, so it's got to be Lily. Hi, Lily. She's probably thinking I was going to be done with Facebook Live, but I'm like a little long-winded today, so I'm not quite done yet, Lil. Come on in and say hi. Oh, and Stormy is very excited that Lily's here too. Okay, this is not working, is it? There we go. That's what I'm kind of looking for is to do a little swish like that. Then we are going to 
add some adhesive. I also want to actually just put a little bit of adhesive on the back of those guys there too. So we are going to kind of add that one right there and that one right there. And then we're going to put all of this. You know what? I don't like that. We got to redo that. I think I need to move it over a little bit more. That's part of my problem is it's, I didn't get it in quite the right spot there. That'll be better. Now we can put that right there. And then our sentiment, our little thank you. And there we go. How about that? Isn't that so cute? Oh my gosh, I just love the colors, the pansy. Oh, it's just beautiful, isn't it? You guys like it too, I hope. Like I said, it's one of my all-time favorite sweets in this catalog. Okay, so next card. Similarly, we have another pansy. I'll scoot that because we don't have to build much of anything. So this one, while this card definitely featured the dyes, hi Lily, <laughs> the dyes, the pansy dyes, this one really features the stamp set. We actually, this is not from Designer Series Paper. So can you see kind of all of the um, dimension and color in that stamp, right? So I'm going to show you guys how we did that with the stamps this time. Okay, so let's see. I have too many things out here. Oh my goodness. Okay, we've got some ink. Oops. Do, 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 do. Make sure I think I have everything. I was looking at my notes. Did I forget? Get all these stamps going here. Okay, so we are going to start this time with a piece of Sahara sand cardstock. Okay, so this is a full sheet of Sahara sand cardstock. This time along the 11 inch side, we cut it at five and a half inches. And then along the eight and a half inch side, we scored it at four and a quarter inches. Okay, so there's our card base, right? Then more of the beautiful pansy designer series paper. There's that gingham on the back. This one measures five and one quarter by two and a half. And while I'm thinking about it, all of the dimensions, the ink pad colors, item codes, everything that we used on these cards are gonna be on my blog this afternoon. I'll have it all uploaded at Gathering Ink with a K, so gatheringinspiration.com. So again, for example, this measurement here on our, uh, this is Evening Evergreen, it's one and one quarter by four and one quarter, okay? And then I have some scraps of Whisper White to do our die cutting and stamping. Okay, so let's actually just add these two pieces to our card right now while we're thinking about it, okay? And then I don't lose anything either. That's another good reason to do this. Okay, so we've got our designer series paper. Now, I just want to, and this just kind of added a little bit of, I don't know, texture or something. So instead of just putting a strip of cardstock, I just put that little, strip of cardstock with a little strip of ribbon. I'm gonna flip that around because I wanna add this on here before I adhere it to my card. So we're gonna do that one there. I'm gonna flip it back over so I make sure it's going straight because inevitably I'd do something like that and it'd be not straight. Okay, so put a little bit more adhesive on both of those. Well, hello, hi, Miss Becky. Glad you can join us at any time. Doesn't matter to me. I love for people to be on the live when you can because I think that's so fun for us all to be hanging out together. But if you're not able to watch the live, I'd love for you to watch whenever it's convenient for you. Okay, so let's do our stamping. This is gonna be for our die cutting for that new fun piece right there. Okay, so we are gonna start with our Whisper White cardstock, okay? We are going to use this stamp, first of all, in Calypso Coral Ink, and I'm gonna stamp it off first. Okay, so we've got our Calypso Coral Ink. Okay, so I'm gonna ink that up. I'm gonna stamp it off, and then I'm gonna stamp it on there, okay? Next, with a little bit more detail and texture, <laughs> I know, Becky, I love this card and the stamp set and the paper and the ribbon and the dies. Okay, so just add, just gives a little bit of texture there. 
Okay, next we need our bumblebee ink for this inside piece. And I'm gonna stamp this one off just so it's not as strong, because we want kind of a pale, a little bit more pale there, right? Next, we are going to use that little guy and we're gonna do full strength in our Calypso Coral. Okay, there, so you can see kind of how it's layering in there, right? And then I need my Evening Evergreen that's actually back over in the other one. And then, let's see, okay, this one from right here. So we're gonna do the inside center of the flower in Evening Evergreen. Nice, easy tap, tap, tap right there. Since we have that teeny tiny stamp. And there we go. So isn't that so pretty? Can you see, and maybe you can't even see quite as well on there, but lots and lots of dimension when you use all of those fun stamps on there, right? And then let's see, we need to do some leaves also. So we are going to, actually I wanna grab this and stamp off first. So we're gonna use our Evening Evergreen. We're gonna stamp off and stamp on there. Stamp off there. Stamp off, stamp on there, and then we are going to add the darker detail over top from there. And the fun part is these just don't have to be perfect, okay? There we go. And I think, so can you see how we used all of those stamps so kind of quickly and easily? I do need that evening evergreen for our sentiment too after we do our die cutting there. So, okay. Now we can go ahead and die cut these things. Okay, oops, I should have moved that out of the way. Get my stamp and cut and emboss machine. If you don't have one of these babies yet, go ahead and get that starter kit and order your new stamp and cut and emboss machine. You'll be so happy that you did. It's just beautiful and sleek. Okay, so let's see. Where are my dies? <laughs> okay, I need to find the leaf that's in my pile. You guys can't see over here. Of course, it's gonna probably be the one that I can't find. Oh, there it is, good, okay. Oh no, this is a different leaf too. There are actually two different leaves in this set. So look at, these are all the dies that I haven't even used yet. So we're gonna use this leaf. It's actually three different leaves. Because these two go together, these two go together, and then the others that I've already used. So lots and lots of leaves there too. Okay, so we're gonna have to run that through a couple of times um, to get that, those leaves die cut. Okay, my magnetic, you know how that happens sometimes, right? <laughs> so this might be the trick, right? Is I'll get one to line up and then the other one will keep winging. All right, I think we're good for right now. Let's hope that they stay on there. All right. Okay. Ooh, man, I'm, I'm going long again today. I guess that's because I won't be able to hang out with you guys for the next two Fridays. So I've got lots, lots and lots to share with you today, which I do. Yeah. But I have to tell you, like I said, so very excited. Um, we're going to go zip lining. I haven't really, I don't know. We'll be curious. Um, we've done that a little bit around here in Frankenmuth, actually. They have a fun zip lining course that we've gone to a couple of times. The first time I did it, I freaked out and then I realized, okay, it's not that bad. Um, it wasn't super high though. So it'll be interesting to see where they have it in Hawaii and what that's like. So I'll be reporting back. <laughs> and then we're going to do some snorkeling and sailing too. We were going to rent a car and I think do the road to Hana. We'll see if anybody has any ideas too of things to do while we have our car places to go check out. I'd love to hear your ideas too. Oh, there's one more thing we got to do. We have to die cut. I have to show you guys. These new dies. Okay, where are they? Right here. So these are the, what are they called? They're called the scalloped contour dies. So we're gonna use this die right here. 
Okay, and we actually, there's one more that is like this, only it's a bigger one. Same idea, the stitching is a little bit closer together, but look, can you see like there's this one with the little, I don't know what those are, like the little dots, right? This one does some scallop, but a little bit different stitching. And then this one does all these little cutouts. Plus I'm super excited about this because I love this big scallop edge. And then a couple of flowers too. So beautiful, this set of dies is awesome. And I didn't even really, pay that much attention to it until Miss Sharon, who is one of our Inkspired stampers, was showing me all of the things that she die cut and made with it. And I was like, oh my gosh, I totally need that. Cause I love, right? We love the stitching and we love the scallops. So this one does both. Isn't that so cute? With the little baby scallops on there too. So awesome die set, love it. Okay, so here we are going to where is my card? <laughs> I need some help. There we go. So we're gonna stamp our happy birthday in our evening evergreen. Do nice, easy tap, tap, tap. We are gonna put that right there. Ooh, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Happy birthday. <laughs> There's Miss Sharon. Yes, you guys are all saying it is a great die set. Yes, it is. Okay, where's my little rubber thingy? Because I want to we're gonna put some adhesive on these flowers, or leaves, excuse me, not, not flowers, but leaves, okay. That one and that one. Okay, so we are going to do, this is gonna go right there. And then we'll put that one there. And that one, so you see how great this thing is? My grid paper doesn't get sticky at all when I use my little silicone mat there. And I kind of want to just curl that up to give it a little more dimension there. We are going to add a couple of dimensionals behind this guy. And I like to kind of put them right on the leaves to kind of adhere everything together. I think that's helpful. And then we'll put some more, let's put a couple on the back of this guy too. Okay, so we're going to add these to our card, we'll pull that over there, right? So we've got this, oops, that's upside down. That's not gonna work very well, is it, right? So there we go, we've got our happy birthday. Oh my gosh, I love these pansies. Okay, we've got a couple more simple little things to do. We're gonna add our pansy right there. I just like to kinda, this one wasn't curled up enough either. I just kinda curl it up, give it a little dimension there, right? So. Where are my jewels? Have you guys seen these? The genial gems, aren't they so pretty? So in some of our ink colors, uh, pale papaya, and I think it's soft succulent. Looks like it to me anyway. Love all the sparkly detail on those. Okay, so we're gonna use one bigger pale papaya and then a smaller soft succulent. We're gonna add those right there. And then final step, and I think you can barely see it, we're gonna add some of our Wink of Stella. So this is my way of, I kind of keep the cap on, I'm just kind of shaking it up basically, okay? Get it flowing a little bit. And we're just gonna kind of wash on some of that shimmer. You don't wanna squeeze too hard because otherwise you'll get a huge glob of it, but you just kind of wanna add a little bit of sparkle. And I feel like you guys are never gonna be able to see this if I lift it up, I don't know. I'll try to move it around and see if you can see a little bit of it. But there, and just the right, like you kind of see that sparkle there. So just, I love adding that Wink Stella just to give a little bit of shimmer. There, you can kind of see that one in the right light too. So there we go, ladies. Oh my goodness. All right, so. Let me grab my host code right here. So don't forget the Maui special, right? With these beautiful projects. Okay, so here we go. Use this host code, the Y9REYP3Z. You will get 10 free cards from me with your, it's a minimum $50 order. Okay, use the host code. You get 10 free cards from me. You're gonna get these two cards and then eight other cards from my stash, right? You also get to pick from the free embellishment in June, or no, this is May. This is only May, which are the In Color Jewels or the PDF tutorial. And then you also get your name in the drawing to win 
and I'll show you guys again, the Sunny Sentiments stamp set. The Maui Sunny Sentiments stamp set could be yours with your order. So thank you guys so much for watching today. I will give all of the links for everything I talked about will be again above this Facebook Live video as soon as I can get it uploaded to uh, Facebook Live. So, oh, there's Miss Pam. Hello and happy Friday. So thank you guys, Nikki. I'm glad you enjoyed these cards. I love you guys. If you do not have the Pansy Suite yet, you need this suite. There are just so many great things you can do with it. Or order my class to go kit, the Pansy Petals class to go. You get the stamp set and the dies. You get some paper, you get some ribbon, some, you get some jewels. You get four cards that you can make, eight of them all together because you get two of each of them, right? And then you'll just have all that fun stuff you can play with and make even more projects when you see more great ideas online. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in just a couple of weeks. I hope you have a, a good couple of weeks and we will see you soon. I'll be online though too. So um, yeah, hopefully posting some fun from our trip. Um, but yeah, really ready to get away and kind of relax and enjoy some family time with my kids. So and share, uh, Pam, thank you for sharing the video. So all right, bye guys. Happy Friday. Have a great weekend. We'll see you soon. Bye.